Hello, my dear story time fans from around the world. How are you guys doing? I'm back with another story time episode. Don't forget to visit my blog and support my channel. Subscribe when you see that story time UFO pop up. As you guys know, I left Suriname to go to a conference in the Dominican Republic. Here you see me with my little brother. Um, I want to thank everyone who helped me make my trip easy and to make everything just go smooth so that I could get there and get back home safe. Those are the moments that make me feel blessed in life. This is at the Sandre Johan Adolf Bengal Airport in Suriname. I met a friend there. Um, you'll see her in other videos from the note, the videos that I made, but I'm behind in content. That's Chanelfa. You'll also see her a lot in my videos because she's the other um, Caribbean youth fellow delegate of Suriname that traveled with me. We represented our country during the conference and we had an awesome time traveling um, together. Only on the way back, I had to travel alone because she went to Trinidad and Tobago and I came back to Curacao. But I had a fun trip, you know, everything happens for a reason. And overall, my journey was smooth except for the delays. We got late in Paramaribo because of the Miami storms, but a lot of places were delayed because of that. Um, so we were heading towards the plane to catch our flight. We had to Panama City finally after a couple of hours of delay. I was so relieved because we had to really get early at the airport and then we had to stay for a couple of hours but we could finally leave and I was in the plane excited to take off and get this journey over with, you know. Once you arrive at your destination, it's a total different feeling and a total different vibe when you're um, traveling. I didn't sleep, so you guys know I do those insomniac nights until I get kicked off or knocked off. But I did sleep on my way back home in the plane. Anyway, um, I was showing off my nails a bit because Priya did a good job doing my nails. Uh, I want to thank her too. I wanted to go for the red nails because I like red and they're classy and it would match so perfectly with this red lipstick that I got in Panama City. As fate has it, okay, maybe I found the excuse to get red lipstick, leave me alone. But uh, that's the window view. See, I got a picture of that through different time frames because my insomnia craze were um, up. I kept myself entertained on a plane too by just watching movies and <coughs> excuse me for a little cold stuff like that. We got some food. This is the food that they gave us. The croissant was delicious with the egg. And that's the Surinamese yogurt milk centrala. When you say milk centrala, that's Surinamese. Made in Suriname Surinamese origin product. I like the croissant with the cheese and the egg in it, you know. If I had a little bit hot sauce on me, I just put that on top of it to make it complete and perfect. But as you guys can see, the skylight was appearing. Me and my coffee. Of course, I love coffee. I need coffee everywhere I go. Um, you could also have juice as an option. But I went for my coffee. I love my coffee. Coffee and we are friends. Uh, anyway, light was starting to approach. Daylight, I just love um, looking out of the window and admiring the universe, the world, the globe. That's the kind of person I am, you know, my inner philosophical person enjoys observing scenery from nature and the world and just taking it all in front. Wow, we're just small specks in this amazing, marvelous universe and the way everything works together combined, that's just fabulous, you know? Uh, I think about stuff like that a lot, but that's just how I am. I can't help it. What kind of travel do you guys see yourself as? Anyway, getting back onto the story, <laughs> as you guys can see, oh, I really love clouds. I wonder if we could jump up and down clouds all the time. This gave me an idea for a story, actually. I was busy on my laptop a lot to write uh, stories. So make sure you stay subscribed to my blog so you're updated when my new stories and my new books come out. Here we arrived in Panama City. It looks so pretty and beautiful from the sky. I like the tall buildings that they have. It's quite different to what we're used to here too in this 
South South American small country <laughs> that Suriname that I'm from, as you guys can see. Their airport even is like a lot bigger. I got a lot of time to explore it. My puffy eye bags because yes, I didn't sleep on the plane. <laughs> I was that difficult with that. But we were happy that we reached ground, so this was us. But our flight got delayed three more times in Panama or something like that. And our gate also got changed a couple of times with the flight delayed. So we were waiting at the wrong gates all the time. But that's enough to keep you busy in Panama. I like that they have a strong currency because the Panamese um, currency or the currency that they use in Panama is similar to that of the US dollar. There's a lot of shopping options here when you go to this place so if you're an inner shopaholic beware it will seduce you with all the perfumes beauty products everything else and i really liked having the chance to get to explore every part of the panama airport tokuman international airport that's what it's actually called typically of me to make a victoria secret picture at every victoria secret in every country that i come across <coughs> Excuse me once again, this cold is really upsetting me, but I just love watching all the different planes, knowing um, the tragedy behind Suriname Airways, you know, we don't have our own airplane now, and then you see all those airplanes from different countries and airlines, so I guess it's good programming and arrangements. We went down the escalators a couple of times. We really took a chance to explore it, especially me. I really got around to the exercise thing because I was bored and I was in a new place. And I'm the type of person, if I'm in a new place and if I'm going to be there all these hours, then I'm going to get to know the place and explore it. Anyway, um, we did try to get ourselves set up into launches, but most of them were fully booked to our bad luck so i just went around looking for shopping more there were a lot of people stranded at the airport that day during oh, oh, oh. this was a sign from the universe this was a sign from the universe that all my spoiled babies back home were missing me <laughs> that's how i knew and i was right because y'all were missing me i am one spoiled queen at home but anyway we're moving on with the story it's not going to be about my small babies i love y'all even if i call y'all small babies anyway um here you have a better look at what it's like at the airport i just filmed this because of the mountains i remember now but i couldn't get the mountains very clearly on camera but you have an awesome view of the mountains when you're at the Tokyo International Airport, that's what I love, and I love mountains. What do you think? I love going to the jungle in Suriname, so I love mountains everywhere, in and out of my country. They have a lot of gadgets, tech stuff. Anyway, of course I had to get something. I went shopping for perfume and that Dior lipstick I told you guys about, and this is me trying it on. What do you think? Does the red suit me? I liked it. It was a classy suiting red, so it is what it is. I hope you guys like my story time episodes because as you guys know, I've also written a story time article about Olive Garden. I also have a video about it on my channel, so be sure to check that out. But if you really want to get more in-depth content about what my experience experience at Olive Gorman in the Tokyo International Airport was like, you should visit my blog and check out that story that I wrote. I found the food court, a couple of pictures we got, but anyway, I liked watching the planes fly off. These plushies were so cute. If I wasn't such a bad eater because I felt overwhelmed, I would definitely try these Krispy Kreme donuts. And I regret now not having tried those Krispy Kreme donuts. And I kind of knew that I would regret it. But anyway, it happened like that because I felt so overwhelmed and tired. And 
you guys know I got out of the interior and I had just finished a couple of projects and I've been so busy that I didn't even get the time to post all of my content. This is a miniature design of the Tokyo International Airport. This is in the food court. You have to go up the escalator to find it. And this is what this story is actually about. We tried the fried chicken from Frango Asado and there was a line there. I, I passed that food court multiple times during the day and it was so busy to get fried chicken. Anyway, I didn't think it was too bad the chicken but I didn't finish my complete meal because I as I said, I felt overwhelmed from being tired and I overwhelmed I'm such a bad eater. <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, my friend said, uh, Shanalfa said she didn't have such a positive experience from it but I understand that because sooner than these people when we're not used to certain things we have a sense of the stomach for it. I've experienced it myself, but that was with the Dominican salad. No hate. After that, we finally got to leave Panama. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next third time episode, go to my blog right now. Bye-bye. Love ya.